So, who always started producing 5G-capable high-silicon Kirin chipsets again? With the launch of the Mate 60 series of smartphones, it appears that the corporation intends to replace the image sensor, another chip, with an internal design. Huawei is positioned to become the fourth camera sensor brand, behind Omnivision, Samsung, and Sony. It is unlikely, though, that it will provide those sensors to other manufacturers, made using SMIC's 7 nanometer fabrication technology. Huawei's Kirin 9000S processor is the company's first chipset to include its in-house 5G modem. In its phones, Huawei has long used Sony sensors, which have an odd layout with two yellow sub-pixels rather than two green ones. However, according to Leaker Fixed Focus Digital, Huawei has no longer has any Sony sensors in its inventory, and neither Sony nor Huawei have extended their deal. This adds credence to the rumors that sensors created by Huawei will be used in the next Huawei P70 series. After Huawei's cooperation with Leica expired, the company had to replace another component of its camera system, the XMage platform, which includes a custom NPU. For the P70 series, Huawei is apparently developing a new optical fingerprint reader as well. Although the corporation hasn't formally verified any of it, we anticipate that these internal designs will play a significant role in its presentation when it happens, which should be early in the following year. So, Huawei recently revealed that in the first quarter of 2024, Harmony OS 4 will be released for the Mate 20 and P30 series. Although the update is limited to Chinese units, it's still an unexpected move given that neither model was included in the official list of supported devices. The Huawei flagship models for the current generation are the Mate 40, Mate 50, and P50 and P60 series. With a faster and more effective ARC engine, New widgets, a lock screen that could be customized, a live window that looked like a dynamic island, and more, Harmony OS 4 was unveiled in the summer. The software has been installed on over 100 million devices so far and is compatible with a wide range of hardware, including TVs, vehicles, tablets, and smartphones. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Huawei P70 series? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.